Welcome to Crazy Good Talks with Deirdre Van Nest. In this podcast, we help growth-oriented financial advisors, leaders, sales professionals, and experts stand out and own the room every time they speak. Deirdre will empower you to grab and keep the attention of any audience, live or virtual, make emotional connections with your listeners, and inspire them to take action. Join us on this journey where Deirdre will empower you to become a more confident presenter and knock it out of the park when you speak. Getting paid to stand up in front of a room of people and share what you know. What a gig! But how do you get there? Deirdre knows she has gone from speaking for free to making a living. And if you have listened to other episodes of this podcast, which I highly recommend you do, you know she had to work at it. I'm Patrice Sakura. Deirdre, tell us your journey of going from free to fee. Yeah, so I actually didn't intend to be a public speaker. I certainly didn't intend to be a, a keynoter or teach other people how to speak. In fact, Patrice, I was terrified to speak. I, I'm not going to go into the full story here because I do talk about it in episode two of the podcast. But uh, to wrap it up kind of quickly, I had a, just a bad experience in my ninth grade acting class where my acting teacher really humiliated me in front of the whole class. And I just shut up for 24 years, Patrice. Um, I mean, I still talk to my friends and stuff like that. I don't mean I didn't talk. <laughs> But right, right. I wasn't willing to get up in front of a group of people. I quit acting, sadly. I made decisions uh, based on whether or not I would have to speak in front of a group. So an example, when I was approached after my first year in my master's program, a group of my classmates said, Deirdre, do you want to run for uh, president next year? Patrice, my only qualifying question was, uh, do I have to give a speech? That is so sad because you are such a good speaker. Thank you. It, you know, it is sad. Um, part of my journey, right? It kind of, it's like, it is what it is, but, uh, they looked at each other like, I, I, I don't know, I guess. And I was like, no, I'll run for vice president. So I ran for vice president. Um, so anyway, what happened was I got certified in 2007 as what's called a fearless living coach. And I got out into the community, uh, here in Minneapolis and I hung my shingle, started going on a lot of networking meetings. And I was helping business owners get past the fears and excuses that were holding them back. And so after a time, people would say to me, you know, Deirdre, like, you really should speak. This is such an interesting topic. Uh, you know, the, uh, the topic, I called it fire your fear. And it's so interesting. You could really help a lot more people. You could bring in business faster. You should speak. And I was like, no, I, I'm, I'm quite certain I shouldn't. Um, I'm quite certain that this one-to-one -one thing is just fine with me. And then it dawned on me, Patrice, oh, Deirdre, you always walk your talk you're trying to help other people get past their fears. And this is a fear you're not willing to tackle. Yeah. How ironic. Right? Ironic. And it didn't sit well with me. So I thought, all right, I, I got to do this thing. So what happened was I, um, I got asked to speak actually uh, from the host of a networking breakfast I had been to several times. And the first, I'll never forget that, that when the woman called me to ask me, you know, do you want to come and, and would, you, would you speak at one of the breakfasts? I said, you know, I'm not sure. I mean, I think I'd like to, but I got to check my schedule. I'm not sure if I'm open on that date. Can I call you back? <laughs> and she's like, oh, sure. I did not have to check my calendar. I had to check my courage, right? I mean, I knew that I was open on that date. I was terrified, Patrice. And so I called her back probably about a week later. And I was like, okay, I'm free. I can do it. You know what I mean? And that times I, I literally was free. I was free. I'm a free speaker and I was free to do it. And so that prompted me to go, okay, you have this speech coming up. I think it was, let's say three months from that, you know, the day that we booked it, w what are you going to do, Deirdre? And I thought, all right, I have to find a structure, a system to write my talk, something that's tried and true where other people have had success before me. So I scoured, of course, the internet, went online, you know, looking for books, looking for this and that. And I uh, stumbled across a book by my mentor and Craig. What episode was Craig Patrice? I want to say maybe episode nine. He was pretty early on, I thought. Yeah, no, he was probably around episode nine, uh, Craig Valentine. Um, so Craig is uh, my mentor and he first became my mentor through a book. He wrote a book called World Class Speaking, and I used that to get my start. And I figured, well, if world class speakers are using this, how bad could I be? And <laughs> and that's kind of a way to look at I it. I mean, that was it. That's all I had. That's all I had. You know. So so that's what I did. So so my first my first two steps in going from fee no free to fee was one. I had to be willing to do it. That's it. You got to be willing. 
two, I needed to find a system that would teach me how to structure and deliver my presentations. You were so smart to go look for that structure though. I don't know why I thought of that, Patrice. Like, I feel like maybe that was like a God thing because now that I think about it, I'm like, how did I even know to do that? But I did. I don't know. I'm glad. I'm glad that I did. Okay. So that was, so that was one. So then I get out there and, and I do that one and, and it actually goes pretty well. And I didn't die. Um, I didn't throw up all over everybody <laughs> from nerves. So then I, I got another gig from that gig. And, and here's a really cool thing about speaking. Well, well, here's the, here's the good and the bad. The bad is you're on display. So it's like an athlete. People will know right away if you're good or not. Right. It's not like most things where you can talk about being good. And then behind the scenes, people get to check you out. This is very visible. So that's sort of the downside. But the good side is if you are good, it's the best way to get other speaking engagements. Like speaking is the best way to get speaking engagements. Like there's no better way. So because it went well, I practiced, I, you know, I, I, I prepped, um, I, I, I got some other gigs and, and I started doing this and I started doing it, you know, fairly often in, in my hometown here. I started to like it. Nice, uh, nice. I know, I know. I was, I was shocked. I, I actually, I actually started to, started to like it, and so I started, you know, doing it more and more. And then, in uh, 2008, I spoke at a uh, women's networking group called Women in Networking, and I did my deal. And afterwards, one of the members who happened to be a meeting planner. So this is important because a meeting planner is someone who actually not only plans a meeting, but they hire speakers to come and speak at the meeting. Um, her name is Dana Ellis. Uh, I'll never forget her as long as I live. You know, you have those people in your life that cheer you on, Patrice, and they made a really big impact in your life. Like to her, this isn't a big deal, but to me, this like literally was a turning point. So Dana Ellis was one of those people. And she came up to me after this free gig that I did. And she goes, I just want you to know you're, you're good enough to get paid. Wow. I know I was shocked. I was like, what? Uh, really? She's like, yeah. I said, can we go to lunch or something? I, I just, I need to talk with you about that. She's like, sure. So we go to lunch a couple of weeks later and she just believed in me. And because she believed in me, I was willing to start thinking about myself as a different kind of speaker, right? Instead of someone who was doing free talks with the goal of getting name recognition, creating what I call the velocity of visibility, where people start to really know you and, and kind of, you know, know who you are around your town because you're out speaking so much. And instead of speaking to bring in clients from the back of the room, which is not a bad model, by the way, I have many clients that I teach how to use that model and it can absolutely ignite and accelerate their business. It's not a bad model, but instead of just doing that, I started thinking about, wow, what would this be like if I actually could do that and got paid to do it? That's a nice combination. It's a really nice combination. It's a really nice combination. So, so that gave me the con that gave me the confidence, and and I had that on my mind, and I still spoke for about another, I'd say, year or so for free. So the so the the lesson, the kind of like the third lesson I want to point out is most people. I'm going to give you some exceptions. I have a client right now who's going to be an exception. Most people, when they're starting out and they're wanting to go from free to fee, will speak for free for a period of time. Like, it's just, you're like, what's the word? Like cutting, is it cutting your chops? No, that's not the way. What is it? Uh, it's earning, earning your chops. I guess. Earning your chops, right? Earning your chops. Yeah. And so that's what you have to do. You have to, um, you have to get out there. You've got to get good. You've got to find your voice. You've got to find your topic. You got to see what resonates. People have to know you, you have to get your confidence. You have to develop your skills, right? There's like, there's a lot going on. It's kind of like one of my, one of my, uh, dear friends, who's also my slide designer, David Goldman is a stand up comedian. Like he performed with Letterman and, and, and Jerry Seinfeld and all these cool people, Patrice. And you know, those, th those guys and gals, like they are, they're performing for free for quite a long time. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. And they still do. I mean, some of the, some of the best still perform for free so they can test new material. Right. Right. So, so what I, what I do want to say, if you're thinking about going from free to fee, please don't knock the free and think, Oh, like I'm a big loser. I'm speaking for free. You know, no, this is where you practice material and learn your craft. So I did that for a while. And then I just decided, and people will say, well, how do you know the moment when you're ready? I can't tell you that. What I can tell you for me was I just knew, like I knew, like all of a sudden, I'm not kidding. I woke up one day and I was like, okay, it's time to get paid. And that was a year and a half in. I should count how many speeches in it was. Cause I haven't done that actually, but it was many, 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 and a year and a half in I'm ready to get paid. And what was really cool, Patrice is that month I booked my first two paid gigs. 
awesome. Now, all right, how did you do that though? Was it Dana? Did she get you the gigs or, or what? No, no, no. It actually, I really believe it was it was a mindset shift. And those were those came, those were connections that came to me because I had been out in my community speaking everywhere I could for free. So my name got out there. Wow. And those people called. And that's what happens. So there's this, there's this uh phrase. I'm not exactly sure how it goes, but it's basically, well, it's sort of like that old, when the, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Right. Yes. Right? Yes, yes. So it's sort of like, once you declare you're ready, I believe like, then it gives God the cue, like, okay, you know what I mean? We can, we can start making this happen. Like they're open now. The opportunities show up. Yeah. And I'm not saying that happens all the time. Believe me, I've done a lot of work, so it's not that easy. But in that instance, I decided I was ready. These two gigs came in and I was just, I was off to the races. Um, so to speak. Now, one comment I want to make. So I made it, I said that not everybody has to speak for free. 99.9% of speakers who are going to get paid will speak for free first. There's some exceptions, uh, a celebrity, a celebrity in your niche or your community, or you're coming in with massive credibility already from a past career. So I have a client right now who I'm helping become a uh, fee-based speaker who had a very successful career in financial services as an advisor and as a leader. And she's going out on her own. And because she has the knowledge and the name credibility, yes. um, I actually literally just got a text from her. Like, I'm not kidding you. This is so fortuitous. I even think it, think of this two minutes before we got on to record the podcast. And she said, I just booked my first paid gig. <laughs> right. And I have to say it was for a really nice figure. <laughs> it was a really nice figure. So, um, but she's different, right? She's different. She already had that audience and that credibility built yeah. in many of us, myself included don't, don't have that. Okay. So, okay. So those were the, those were the, the, the first three steps. Then, you know, a couple of things to consider is like, okay, you go from, okay, I'm free. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to get, I'm going to get paid. And so you go through kind of the, your trajectory of what that looks like. Then you get to a point where you're getting paid. And then the question I get from clients, Patrice, which is logical. And the one that I was asking is, okay, well, how do I increase my fees? Because here's the thing with professional speaking, it's the wild west. There's no, yes, other people have gone before you, but there's no like playbook or rule book. Like, okay, once you master these skills, then you can get paid this. You'll charge this, right? Once you do this, once you've been in 20 years, you should be making this. No, no. I mean, I've seen people who have, who've been speaking for two years, waking, making way bigger fees than someone in for 15, simply because of their talent, their drive, their, you know, their ability, their audience, their topic, everything. So it's the wild west. So here are my tips for how to continually, uh, how to continually increase your fees over time. So the first, and this is the part that most people don't want to hear. This is the reason why most people don't ever get paid five figures for a single presentation. Um, the first is the, the practice, right? And you've mentioned that in many of your podcasts. Oh yeah. It's the, yeah. It, like people would not believe how much I practice, um, how much my clients who are getting paid four and five figures practice. So it's the practice and practice doesn't just mean standing up and practice delivering the presentation. Practice means learning how to write amazing presentations. Mm -hmm. It is very difficult to be a high four or five figure speaker. If you don't have the skills to actually craft and write a presentation, great presenters are usually great writers and they have a structure for writing that makes the presentation crazy good and makes it super dynamic and engaging. So you have to be willing to learn that skill set, the writing part, the structuring of your content part. You also have to be willing to practice that. So once you get the you get the script down, you have to be willing to practice that Patrice to the point where it's internalized so you don't sound canned, it doesn't sound contrived or rote. It it can't sound memorized right? It, it, it has to come sound like it's coming from your heart. Well, the only way to do that is to practice, 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 and then practice more right. to where literally I could shake you in a sleep and say, what's point number two of that keynote. And you can, you can get into it. 
right? <laughs> and um, again, you teach this. Yes, exactly. And this is in our signature speaking and writing program, the Crazy Good Talks Blueprint. This is what you will learn. Our clients who are in that program either are thought leaders or are wanting to be thought leaders. And so they are, you know, they are really creating omnipresence by learning how to write and speak um, in, in live presentations, on video, podcasting like this, right? TV appearances, books. I mean, everywhere they express themselves. And that's what it takes to get it to get to that level of a trainer or a keynoter. The other thing that I do want to stress is stage time, stage time, stage time, stage time. So you have to get out on the stage. This, this is a skill like a sport. This is a skill that will be best uh, learned and best mastered when you're doing it. You, you can't like, yes, you have sure, to practice. Sure. Yes, you have to write, but you also have to get out and do it. Right. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Okay. That that's great. And, and in fact, you know, kind of going back to my client who I just told you about, who just, you know, has that credibility and booked her first gig when she was deciding if she was going to work with us or not, she was looking at our program. And then, um, and our program focuses on the, the, the speech structure and the speech delivery and the writing constructs. And we do touch on how to get booked. Uh, we, we touch on copywriting and creating speaker sheets and marketing materials. We, we don't do like a super, super extensive deep dive into the business of being a keynoter or a professional speaker. So there was this other program that they focus more, not on the craft and the art and the science of the, of the writing and the delivery, but actually on the business side. And she was trying to decide between the two. And I said, listen, I am all about taking courses that teach you about the business. And for a lot of skills, I would recommend maybe you do that. Cause quite frankly, a lot of the times the best technicians aren't the ones who are actually getting the most work. It's the best marketers, the best salespeople. Mm -hmm. That's but, true. In, but in this yeah. case, it's the opposite. In, when it comes to speaking, you can have all the business knowledge and acumen. You can have all the best marketing materials, but people will, will know the moment you open your mouth on stage, if you're the real deal. And if you're not, all of that goes to waste. So for a speaker, you want to, if you're choosing which one, you want to first invest in being the best, most powerful presenter, speaker, podcaster, writer, right? Video maker you can be because in this business that will lead to the business, which is very different than most other businesses. So this brings me to um, two, more, two more steps in the free to fee is uh, get coached, whether it's with me or somebody else. If you want to make it in this business and you want to be highly compensated and you want to make a massive impact on the lives of others, you will need a coach and probably multiple coaches. So even though I teach this, Patrice, I have my own coaches. Craig is still one of my coaches. I have another coach I work with. And so depending on what I'm working on, I have different coaches that help me at different times along the way. And you need someone who's going to tell you the truth. Oh, totally. And you know what? You're too close to your own stuff. You're too close to your own stuff. So a lot of times I, I need someone who's going to tell me the truth. I need someone who's not going to be a yes person. I need someone who knows what to look for. It's not even that your friends and family and even your audience member don't know the truth. They don't even know what to look for to tell you how to be better. That's a highly learned skill. Like I've taken 12 years to learn how to spot immediately what's wrong with someone's delivery or their messaging. That did not come overnight. That's not something the average person can do, right? Um, and then finally, finally, networking. Networking is really the key to continually getting booked to speak. So, uh, you know, it, it, making relationships with people in your community, with people in your niche, in your country, in your, you know, around the world, but, but really network with people and ask them to connect you with people who would be interested in hearing your message. Ask them to connect you with people where you can make a massive Im impact on the lives of their audiences and who would be willing to pay you to do that. You know, becoming a professional speaker and, and the business side of the speaking, uh, it's not for the faint of heart. It is not for the faint of heart. It is a lift, however, um, the payoff is just absolutely, uh, it's so exciting. It is so exciting. The payoff from a monetary standpoint is absolutely tremendous. I can't think of a more leveraged business model, but gosh, the Patrice, the amount of people that you get to impact, uh, the amount of lives you get to touch. I, I still have, I talked to someone yesterday and she said, I heard you speak years ago. And I still remember when you said this, 
it really impacted me, you know, and I hear that a lot and I feel really blessed to do it. It is such an amazing business. It's such an amazing career. You just have to make sure you are, you are, you are really thinking of yourself as that sort of that athlete and, and you treat it as such. So how can people reach you to find out more? Yeah, we would love to help you. If you're ready, if anything I said today is super exciting to you, even if it's scary, just do it scared. You know, I just made a big investment in myself this morning in a next level course I'm taking with a strategic coach, founder, Dan Sullivan, and it's scary. I do most things scared. Just do it scared. We would love to help you. So the best way to connect with us is to go to crazygoodtalks.com. And we have a new refreshed website. I'm super excited. So this is the first time I'm actually like promoting it on the podcast. So go to crazygoodtalks.com. And then in the menu bar, you're going to see an option for training programs. Click on that. And then there's a drop down menu. Click on the Crazy Good Talks blueprint. Once you click there, um, there'll be an overview of the blueprint. And then you'll notice multiple start a conversation buttons. Click the start a conversation, fill out the quick form, and then a member of our team will be in touch with you. She speaks from experience, people. Dear Van as host of this Crazy Good Talks podcast. Follow, share, comment. We'd really love to hear from you. Thank you for listening to the Crazy Good Talks podcast. Click the subscribe button below to be notified when new episodes become available. The information covered in this podcast represents the views and opinions of the guest and does not necessarily represent the views or opinions of Accelerated Performance, LLC. The content has been made available for informational and educational purposes only.